what's up guys welcome to this new video guys in today's video we have a lot of stuff to share i have a lot of stuff to share with you today so don't click out of this video watch this video to the end because you're going to get a lot of value so if you see here on the website on, on the screen right now i think we're going to be looking at how to create a digital product online and how to create uh, how to sell digital products online fast with free tools we are going to be selling this stuff using free tools so we're going to be using free landing pages i'm going to show you exactly how to create a free landing page i'm going to show you exactly how to host your digital products for free i'm going to show you exactly how to use payment gateways for free um we have a lot of them i'm going to show you how to get a free domain name and connect it to your um to your site i'm going to show you how to run your free promotion guys it's the word of good stuff it's the word of free stuff so make sure to watch this video to the end and of course as you know everything that has um advantages also has disadvantages so i'm going to show you some of the pros and cons about using this free stuff i'm going to show you but guys this is this is a pack with a lot of information so make sure you watch it to the end so like i showed you like i told you uh we're going to be looking at how to create um free landing pages using um google sites i'm going to show you exactly how to do it i'm going to show you exactly how to host your stuff for free using google drive so this is you can do all these things for free i'm going to show you exactly how to connect a, a, a you know a paid or a, um how to connect a sorry how to connect a payment gateway for free as well okay so this is my paypal account i'm going to show you exactly how to use paypal and uh, i'm going to show you exactly how to use flutter wave as well so if you can't use paypal or if you have if you are skeptical about using paypal you can use flutter wave and you can also use stripe and other payment gateways that you know as well so um you're going to get free domain name from here using free norm guys all these things i'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it so this is the intro of the video so now going proper to the main video before we go straight to the video uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on the bell icon on this channel so that you won't miss any video once i drop them guys i'm dropping videos here regularly to keep you updated on a whole lot of stuff that's going to help you grow your business and yourself at large to make more money okay so make sure to subscribe turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them so we're going to go straight properly to what we have here today so starting with we're going to look at how to create uh free landing pages now to do that all we need to do right now is to go to sites.google.com so just go to sites on your browser Make sure you're logged into your Google account so that you to, so that you know where exactly you're doing it. So you, to confirm if you are logged into your Google account, you're going to see this icon here that has your picture. So make sure it's your account. So go to sites of google.com and we are going to create a free landing page using this tool. Now this is this tool is owned by Google and it's offered for free. Anybody can use it as far as you want to use it. You have a Google account. You can literally use sites.google.com. Now I've made a lot of videos here on my channel talking about sites.google.com, and um, yes, I still talk about it because you, you know its benefits cannot be overemphasized. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some of the pros and cons of using all these tools. So make sure to watch those videos till the end. Now to do that. As you can see, I have a lot of landing pages or so a lot of sites that I've created here with this tool. So now to get our landing page is very easy. So this is an example of the one I did. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, this is the example of the one I did. So this to create this stuff is very, very easy. There's nothing much going on here. So all you just need to do is when you get to site.google.com, you can select from any template. So they have a lot of templates here. You can use any of their templates or you can start from a blank canvas. So just click on um, blank canvas okay it's going to load so right now wait for it to load okay uh okay so once it loads up we can start designing our landing page just the way we want it very very simple guys this is for free okay so we are not paying anything and not that we are not paying anything that but it has you know good features that we need so right now we just need to design or edit this um page the way we want it now remember if you want to sell digital products you need to have your audience in mind you need to know what exactly that product is for now you need to make sure your landing page is going to target that specific person so for example let's say i want to i want to learn how to um sell my products online if so if i'm gonna buy a course or an ebook or any digital product that has to do with selling products online it has to be well targeted you know at me 
so that i can be able to see yes okay let me buy this stuff and learn so you need to make sure you know your audience and you have them in mind before you are able to create this landing page that is going to convert very well for you okay so you need to create it here you can just call it anything i like to just say cool store um let me let me let me just do this the way i love the way i love doing it just say cool store cool store 101 okay that's why i'll name this one then i'll just bold in everything so like i said make sure you know your audience and know who exactly you are targeting so i just bold in this stuff and try to make it align okay so i'll just make it middle yeah it's okay like this i can also reduce this to about 60. yeah 60 should do yeah and i can change the font very simple just click on that side and i like to use this impact font it's very very okay for me so once we've gotten this header now we need to give it a header image you need to change the image of the header so just click here change image and select the image we want from here very very simple so what i just like to do is i can decide to use colors but let me just try this picture i think it's nice and uh here okay this is a picture and um, i'm going to leave it that way it's nice so now once we have gotten this stuff you know our landing page is almost done <laughs> so we are already having a good well looking landing page just by clicking and you know doing just few stuff so this will have taken us probably a lot of time if we wanted to use some other advanced tools out there so this is just for basic reasoning okay so once we have this now we need to make sure we give our site a name here so make sure you give it a name and you can also add logo if you have a logo you can add the logo so once we have this up and running then the next thing we need to do is to now device now think about the layout the layout we want to use so um i'm going to be using the simplest layout now because i just want to show you exactly how this thing works but you can do a whole lot of magic with this stuff so like the one i showed you here um uh, as you can see this is just a simple layout but i did there's a lot of stuff going on here but it's a simple stuff so this is what i just did and i've done this uh i've done this. this is just what i did used to do my youtube tutorial one of my youtube tutorial one of my videos so um if you want to watch that video just go to my channel here uh let me see if i can still locate the video so that i will show you so that you see exactly i made that particular um layout okay so just wait for it to load right here where is it okay let me go down a little so i'll show you okay yeah this this here sell digital product online fast okay no not this one okay this one yeah yeah yeah. how to create a free online store with google site so this one exactly this is where i created that layout very very simple and in fact that layout is is fantastic so you can watch this video here to you know know exactly how i did that stuff okay so but not withstanding let's continue with the video so now we have this stuff ready the next thing we need to do is to just choose a layout so if you are, it depends on the kind of digital product you want to sell if you want to sell just one digital product let's say an ebook or an online course then you just need to use a single layout now if you have to, um, many other ones to sell you can use this layout so you can add all your products here and sample it but if you don't have a lot of products and you don't want to sample a whole lot of products so you just have one you can use this one here let me get it okay yeah this one so that you can add an image of your products and you can add text now you can also just drag this um text section here and keep it at the bottom here so that this one you're going to drag it to the main part so i can just say um let me just add an image let's say i want to sell um an ebook or something let me just add an image so that i'll show you i'll say search Im google search image okay i'll just say um ebook oh i just spelled that right but i'm going to use anyone here okay so let's say i want to sell this stuff this this particular one here so i just click on it and insert 
so right now it's going to insert it yeah so right now i can drag this stuff to any length simple like abc yeah so we have the length i can also drag this one down simple like abc are you, are you seeing it very very simple guys and um i'm love i'm loving it already so right now let's say this is it and right now what i need to do is I want to drag this one to this part so i can just give it a name let's say the name of this ebook you can give it any name you want you can also move this stuff to the header there so that it, it will stick and uh, they have uh, everything they need so i can just say um um uh, free i can just say ebook for e-commerce for e-commerce ebook for e-commerce okay so let me just bold in this stuff here very simple I, i'm showing you every, everything so that you're going to you know see the way i'm doing it so i don't want to skip any part of this stuff so that you're going to see it so make sure you're following me and you are watching exactly um how i'm doing this stuff so right now we've gotten this stuff what we need to do right now okay okay we have this so i just like to move it above so it's better it's above here yeah so right now i'm going to center it of course or make it justify no let me center it so that it's very easy yeah so we have this centered already ebook for e-commerce and um you can as well write anything you want to write so let's say i want to have a description i can just move this stuff right here so if you want to have a description you can just move this description here and put it right here then here you can add the description of the product so i don't have any specific descri description so i'm just going to probably just write any demo stuff right here so let's say we've written our description lovely and uh, let me also center the description okay everything now need to center everything right now yeah this is my description this is very simple so the layout we have the header the site header the landing page header then we have this ebook um introduction and everything then we have the ebook here so the next layout we need to do right now is to select buttons very simple so i like to select buttons so just come here and go to buttons and name it just call it um buy now then for link i'll just leave the link empty for now because i have a lot of things to show you before we add the link so i'll just add hash for now okay it doesn't want hash let me just say https let me just use this one for now okay let me remove this from here okay let me use this one so i'll just click on insert and i can drag it to any length i want so, yeah so this is looking lovely yeah this is exactly what i want so right now we have created a landing page very easy guys this is very simple very simple to set up so now we have a free landing page up and running so the next thing we need to do right now is to go create a free uh where we can i'm going to show you how to host your product your your any product ebook online course whatever you have you can host it here on google drive so just go to drive.google.com and again make sure you're logged into your google account so once you are here on your google account then you go to add new this new section then you can upload your file so you can select your file from your computer and upload it right here on your drive now why you want to upload this stuff on your drive is to make it very very accessible online so right there let's say uh this is a lot of stuff i've added on my drive and you have to remember all your sites all, all the sites i've created with sites to google.com they are going to be hosted here on your drive so um you should know that as well so let's say i've uploaded um i've uploaded my 
my my my stuff on i've uploaded my stuff right here on google drive let's say my ebook or my or my online course or whatever or whatever digital product you're trying to sell i've uploaded it right here so now how do i get the link because you need the link right here so now to get the link just right click on the product so let's say it's this one so once i right click on the product i'll just click on get link and it's going to open it up where i can get the link to the product now i'm going to show you exactly what we need to do so guys watch this video i still have a lot of things to show you so right now we need to make sure anyone with the link can view this product as you can see right here it's set to anyone with the link can access the product so just copy the link of the product so right now we've copied the link of the product our work right here on google drive is done so what we need to do right now is to go create a payment gateway okay we are going to use a payment gateway right now okay so um we can use any payment gateway right here the next step right here is to use a free payment gateway integration now we can use any payment gateway paypal flutterway paystack stripe um uh as long as your payment gateway allows you to create invoices or payment links then we can use it so but right now i'm going to be using paypal and i'm also going to show you exactly how to use flutter with so whichever one you want to use it's left for you to use it but just make sure that you are able to create a payment link using any of those payment gateway that you want to use because right now we are going to i'm going to show you exactly why we need that payment link because it's very important okay i'll show you exactly why we need it and um once you have it once you are able to create it you can sell this stuff your products even without logging in so people can purchase your product and have it delivered to them even while you sleep so they can have all these products right to their to their um accounts very simple or to their emails or wherever they want so um right here on my paypal so once you want to use paypal all you need to do is to log in your paypal so right there on paper what you want to do right now is to click on pay and get paid then once you click on that you just click on um paypal buttons where is it yeah this is a paypal buttons okay so just click on paypal buttons and we are going to be using one of these payment um, paypal buttons that is available right here so right now on pay paypal buttons there's a lot of buttons right here you can create it do not them um, people can donate money to you using any of these buttons this one they can subscribe and a whole lot of stuff but right now all we need is buy now button because what we are selling is a digital product so they don't need to add it to cart on the rest of them so if you want that kind of video where i show you exactly how to sell physical products using these free tools as well tell me in the comment section and i'll consider making the video for you so right now just click on buy now button and it's going to ask us to fill in some in information about the button so that we can be able to use the button and integrate it on our own website or the landing page we've created using google sites i'm sure you didn't skip the video so right now uh right here now we want to select the item name so you could just give it the name of the ebook so i could just say ebook for e-commerce because this is the name of my product ebook for e-commerce then what is the price so the price is going for 200 dollars 200 usd and um every other thing here i'll just leave it the way it is i mean basically you just leave it because you are not taking any inventory and this step two i'll skip it because you don't even need to do anything here now this step three is where we need to do the magic okay so do you want do you want to let your customers change other quantities no i mean we just have one product so they, they, they shouldn't change any other quantities except you have others that you want them to you know be able to add you can do that now um can your customers add special instructions in a message to you yes they can so um do you need your customer shipping address no we don't need it because we are selling digital products okay so right now take customers to this url when they cancel their checkout you can just take them back to the product page when they cancel their checkout but i'll just leave it blank now this is the major important stuff among all this stuff take customers to this url when they finish checkout you need to mark this stuff then right here you need to paste this link we've gotten from google drive remember the link 
we copied from google drive this link right here so right now this is where we need to paste that link now why we need to paste that link here is because paypal is going to direct them to this link where they can download the products once they have made a payment to our you know landing page when they have once their payment is confirmed then people will automatically direct them to this link where they can be able to download their products and that is exactly what we want even while we sleep these things are being done so right now you need to paste that link right here so once you've pasted the link where you want your customers to go whenever they are finished payment now what we need to do is to scroll down here then you can leave this section right here now once you've done all this stuff then we need to click on create button so what's going to happen is paypal is going to create the button for us and give us two options is it that we add it via html or we add it via email now this is the option the link the the um, payment buy now button link has been created so right now we can embed this stuff on our website but we don't need to embed any stuff we don't need to go through this embedding method because it's you know it's kind of lengthy and we don't need it so what we need is to go to click on this email once you click on email we are going to get a link now this is what we want because we want to use the link section the link option so right now we need to copy this link right now remember we have copied two links right now this one we copied from paypal i'm going to show exactly how to do this on flutterwave so just make sure you're listening so using paypal this one we have copied on paper right now we need to go back to our store the one we are working on where is it okay this one so right now we need to go back to our store and on this buy now button section we need to edit this stuff right now we need to edit it so right this link section right now we need to paste the link we got from paypal remember just paste that paypal link and update it so right now we have automatically added the payment gateway just like that now how do you how will you do this thing on flutterwave just go to flutterwave make sure you have an account sign up or uh, anyone you want to use stripe paystack just sign up now once you are inside your account if you are using flutterwave or paystack just go to create payment links okay please make sure you're following this stuff go to create payment links the same thing with paystack is the same thing with plotter wave okay so make sure go and create a payment link now once you've created a payment link the same way we do it on paypal you're gonna see an option where you need to uh add a link to where you want customers to be redirected to after they have made but um payment now that's where we're going to paste the google drive link so that we are going to copy the one flutter wave or paste stack is going to give us and add it to our products just like we did with paypal very simple go and locate payment links on your um either paypal or either paste stack or flutter wave the one and whichever one you're using okay so um that's it basically I, I believe you is very simple now if you have any question if this thing is confusing you especially this payment section that i just explained right now tell me in the comment section and i'll go deeper explaining it more to you so these are the payment links i've created here so all you just need to do is to click on create new payment links and click on single charge and then enter the link name you can call it anything and uh you can give it the amount the amount of the product so you can give it the amount anything you want description you can write it now go to this more options because this is what we want so at this more option section just give it the url custom url you can just add anything here to make it custom uh access specific currencies only you can determine the currencies to accept here now we direct after payment the same thing i told you now we need to paste our google drive link the link we got from google drive this one just copy it right here and go back to paste uh, flutter with so they are is going to redirect them you, you paste it here so it's going to redirect them to this link after they have made a successful payment very simple so right now you can split payment to your account now this one doesn't matter so once you are once you have all these things set up you just save and um you are going to copy the link that flutter wave is going to give you so very simple so once we have all these things we just click on create link and we'll create this payment link so once we have created this payment link right now so all we need to do is to copy the payment link like this one just copy it and go back to um our landing page 
where is it okay this one go back to where we are creating our landing page then we can then add the link right here in this link section so whichever payment gateway you want to use is very very understandable and you can use it so now moving on to the next one how would you collect a free domain name to this our um our landing page right now because we have we have created it and everything is fine we have payment gateway we have linked it everything is working fine so now we do want to use a custom domain name now what do i mean by a custom domain name for example youtube.com that's a custom domain name kingomina.com a custom domain name now if you want to publish this site now and you hit on publish is going to have this url here that says https sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash whatever i impute here right now so this is going to be the link of the website this particular link here let me highlight it let me highlight this stuff so that you see yeah so this is going to be the url of the site and it's long not everybody will remember this stuff and it's not please it's not pleasant so if you want to add a custom domain name you just click on custom domain name but yeah it has a step you need to follow some steps now i'm going to show you the steps right now so to know these steps you need to have subscribed to my channel now not only that you are going to watch a video which i have made specially for how to connect a custom domain name with google sites you need to watch that video because it went in depth in showing you everything up uh, everything you need to know like this is the video here how to connect custom domain name with google sites i went deep and showed you exactly how to do it i literally walked you by the hand to show you exactly how to do it in this video so that's why i'm referring you back to this video so make sure you followed all the steps i showed you earlier on then once you followed it and you now need to connect a custom domain name watch this video how to connect a custom domain name with google sites i will try and leave a link to it in the description box below but go to my channel and click on how to connect a custom domain name with google sites this video is going to pop up and you need to watch it so in order to know it because i really went in depth in showing you how to do it with custom domain name how to link it with uh um google search console and everything is whole and it takes a lot of time so you need to watch it so now i've done that part i've showed you exactly how to connect a free domain name and to get a free domain name of course you just need to use freenom.com so just go to freenom.com and you are going to get a free domain name now some of the free domain names you're going to get are usually .tk, .ml, .ga, all those kind of domain name extensions not your .com okay not your regular .com so if i just say something like this .tk and search you're going to see that is the domain is going to be for free and um, you can use this free domain name as you can see here yes, zero dollars free domain name okay so we're going to this have the free domain names dot ml dot ga dot cf dot gq these are all free domain names and you can use it on any site you can use it on your google site and uh, you need to do some additional work for you to be able to use it and i've showed you exactly all those works and how all those steps in this video so it's very simple so once that is done right now you've gotten that the next thing we need to do is to do promotion okay so we need to promote our store in order for us to get sales because if you just set up these things and it's looking fine and nobody's actually coming there to buy anything guys you're not you're not you're not making sales you're not making any points okay so now to do the main part of this stuff you need to do promotion now i'm going to show you free stuff so now to do the free promotion one of the things you need to do is to go and create social media accounts for your um products okay so just go and create a facebook account instagram account pinterest account now depending on the kind of product you want to sell you need to create social media accounts for those your sites now once you create the account especially facebook and instagram and pinterest as well so let's say now depending on the kind of products you are selling you can go to facebook let me go to facebook right now and show you something that you need to know so just go to facebook.com and um, try to log into my facebook account so that i'm going to show you um very very important stuff okay so uh yeah it's logging in so wait for it to log in okay so, but we want to create a facebook account and specifically we're going to create facebook page for our business now 
this is a business because this is where you're going to be selling your digital products so you can use this method to sell any amount of digital products so right here on our facebook um account so you just need to go to your facebook page now if you don't have a facebook page just go to this section pages and create a facebook page for your business now not only creating a facebook page now what you now want to do is to go and join groups where you know your audience are now how can you locate those groups so you just need to click on search facebook so let's say i want to sell uh digital products for um how e-commerce so i'll just search for e-commerce right here uh i may just say e-commerce groups so it's going to search and show me a lot of groups that has to do with e-commerce and what i want to do is i want to so you know that everybody here is interested in e-commerce and i want to say products to them um teaching them how to actually grow their e-commerce business so these are the kind of group you need to join so as you can see here 17,000 members 10 plus posts per day you need to join groups that you know that are very very active so you just join those groups and um, please don't spam them okay so you just join those groups and offer value then you can now introduce your products and how your product is going to solve their problems now that's one method of promoting your e-commerce store for free now another one is to join instagram go to instagram as well then um, you can also join instagram you can use hashtags to reach a lot of other people then if you're if you if you if you want if you are good enough you can also if you have time enough and uh, you should have your time if you have time for your business in it go to pinterest pinterest.com create pins reach out to people like your pins make sure you are optimizing your pins a lot of pins you can create pins using canva okay so if you go to canva you can create a lot of pins right here on um, canva and you can now post those pins right here on pinterest okay so pinterest is loading and um, i wanted to show you something real good with pinterest so pinterest is a good one you can use it to get a lot of traffic for free but each and every one of this method free method requires work okay so if you want it to be done fast and you want to see lots of results then you're gonna go, go you're gonna use um, paid promotion which is running ads and you know the rest of them so but remember our um, goal here is to use free stuff so right here on pinterest you can come here create an account a business account so that you can be able to um use um, pinterest to promote your product so you just need to create an account then you can create pins to uh if i click on create now i can create pins right here and those pins i can optimize those pins so that they are going to reach some specific targeted people as you can see here i can optimize those pins right here now that these are one this is another method of reaching out to people and um, getting free promotion now another one is to actually um tell your friends about it you know tell your friends to that you that you have this product especially your friends that you know that are interested and they can help you post it and you know talk to people talk to more people referral and all those stuff okay so these are free methods to promote your business or to promote your ebook now this free method requires serious work from your side so um sometimes you can if you have the box if you have the change you can go you for a paid promotion which is running ads now that will allow you meet your target audience faster without any stress now guys we have done through a lot and um let's see how our website is looking this is it looking very good and uh, everything is integrated and we have a lot of and we have a cool business right here remember you can use this method to sell any amount of products i just use one um layout like i showed you you can use a whole lot of layouts you can use six layout 10 layout 20 depending on the amount of products you have and you keep 100 percent of the money so you're not going to share the money with any platform you do your thing by yourself and you have your stuff going on so now let's go to the next um stuff right here so these are the free these are the world of free stuff okay so now what are the pros and cons of using this method now one of the pros of using this method is for um as you know it's free already so you don't need to pay for any tool up front it's literally for free and um, everything is free 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 so you literally are not going to be paying for any stuff another pro is that you're going to get this thing up and running 
um faster and it's easy to manage okay so you just need to manage it it's easy to manage you just you know you can stay on your bedroom and um, somebody's actually paying for your course and you are receiving the money and you're delivering this stuff to them so this is another free um pros of it now some of the cons are this stuff um by the end of the day if i buy these products from you using your link i can also go and share that link to another person who is going to now get that product for free so that person is not going to pay since i have the link already so i'll just give it to my friend he can go and download it and that's not what we want so but we are going to be using this method if we don't have any um any money to start up you just want to start up start selling so that you are going to make money in order for you to start um go into more advanced stuff so that you can you know have money to create more advanced stuff like using wordpress and some other advanced tools to create your stuff so those are the that's one pro another pro uh, so that's one con sorry another con of using this stuff is you are not going to do major seo on this stuff so no major search engine optimization yeah right here on google sites but using wordpress or more advanced tools or some other advanced tools you can use you can optimize it for search and it can appear on google search of course this can appear on google search as well but you don't have control over the seo over how it's going to appear and the rest of them but with wordpress or other advanced tools you have those um you have those you know stuff to do you can do all those stuff right right here right there with you so those are the pros and cons of using this method now this method is good enough for you if you just want to start out immediately without any stress you just want to get something up and running start selling fast then use this method but if you have the funds and you want to take very you know be very very serious with this thing i don't want anybody to take your products for free then you need to move on to more advanced tools and i always say wordpress so if you want any wordpress tutorial or any stuff tell me in the comment section and i'll show you exactly how it's done and how to go about it i believe you enjoyed um uh, this video and you get you got one or two things on it okay so if you have any question for me like i said i'm in the i'll be in the comment section ask me there and i'll be there to answer all your questions so very very simple so i've literally walked you through exactly how to set up this stuff easily and um you know it's very easy to do and i believe you gained you enjoyed it so guys uh i want you to go and start creating your online stuff your stock products and every and every other thing and um start selling as fast as possible so that you can be able to start making um profit easily so guys make sure you follow all the steps i've showed you so that you won't go wrong in any ways now if you have any issues or if something is you no know, complicated to you please i'll be in the comment section tell me in the comment section and i'll be there to answer you anytime so guys make sure to subscribe as well turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them on this channel because i drop videos here to help you and your business okay so subscribe turn on the bell icon I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed.